Welcome to the Elson family adventures. And today we're in Wadi Rum. We are Joe, Tegan and Oliver. 20 months ago, we packed up our apartment to travel the world as a family on a backpacker's budget. In this episode, we'll be spending the night in the incredible Wadi Rum Desert, where a number of famous movies have been made. We want to know if you can do this on a backpacker's budget and is it as magical as we've heard? We purchased a Jordan Pass, which gives you access to over 40 sites across Jordan. Today we're going to take part in the Jordan Train, which is an action-packed reenactment of the Great Arab Revolution against the Ottoman Empire. So we're at today Wadi Rum. Wadi Rum, look at this red sand. Absolutely Amazing. beautiful. So you can walk on the train first, especially if you're going to go on the 1916 train journey with your Jordan Pass. You can walk through. Pay all the gun emplacements. You can't go in the train at the moment. That you do have to buy a ticket for, I think. For this train. Yeah. And we do have to buy a ticket for. But hey, you're a little one who loves trains. After exploring the trains, it's time to head over to a different part of the desert where we'll board the train ready for the reenactment of the Great Arab Revolution against the Ottoman Empire, which took place in 1916. The train. Hopefully we don't get attacked, but we're well armed. We've got machine guns, we've got soldiers. And we've got tourists. And we've got Mexicans. <laughs> what else do you need? Okay, we have the soldiers getting ready. What's about to go down? What's gonna happen? We're under attack. The really cool thing is uh, people get to partake, so there will be hostages. There's people that get armed up. Okay, so we've got some hostages now. <laughs> They're getting taken. How cool was that? That was pretty awesome. That was really cool. It wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be, no. to be honest. I was a bit more worried about Oliver. We were a little Peter's. bit worried about uh, Oliver and that loud noises. And uh, uh, we had a quite an experience yesterday with Petra, uh, kind of the police versus the Bedouin, and we got caught up. Watch our other video. Um, yeah. A link up there because it's pretty, um, pretty intense. Pretty intense. And, uh, so the day after we'd come to this reenactment on this train, 1916. Yeah. Which we were like, is this the worst thing ever we're doing to our child? But, but he wanted to go on the train so yeah. badly, we couldn't really say no. The train ride ended back at the train museum, where a bunch of jeeps were there waiting for us to take us all back to the start where we first boarded the train. We've just done the Jordan train ride, which was pretty cool. And we are heading to our Wadi Rum Desert camp for the night. So we are meeting a guy in a car park where we're going to leave our car overnight. It sounds sounds so crazy, doesn't it? We're meeting a guy in a car park. Uh, and then we're going to jump on his pickup truck, I guess, or four-wheel drive, and then he's going to drive us out to the camp for the night. We're heading seven kilometers into the desert, into Salman's camp. And we are very, very excited. It's greeted by a nice puppy, hey? Wow. This is going to be our home for the evening. Oh, uh, oh thank you. Thank you. Get the sand off. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Look at this. That's going to be our view tonight. I yeah. <gasps> Did she lick you? After checking in, we sat around the campfire, had a cup of local tea, and met the other guests that are staying there as well, where Ollie played in the sand. We then had dinner, which was chicken and a range of vegetables, which was cooked in the ground. It was delicious. Yeah. Yeah. 
After dinner, we sat outside and watched the stars. They were just magical. After a good night's sleep, the following morning we got up before the sunrise and walked 200 meters into the desert from our camp. Mm -hmm. Watching the sunrise and uh, Ollie play with diggers in the middle of the sand. The one thing the desert absolutely loved is the different tracks. So we got humans, dogs, and camels. So now heading back to camp for breakfast, watching the incredible sunrise in the desert. Definitely worth getting up for. So this is the reason why we do this, why we travel. These incredible magical moments that we can't get anywhere else in the world. After a really yummy breakfast, it's time for a tour of the Wadi Rum Desert. Our first stop on our Jeep tour, and we've come across this uh, gentleman, I'd say. Look how uh, incredible natural that is, and that is exactly a face. Cue funny pictures of us kissing it. So our guide is just heading to the back to make us some tea. And Ollie's standing up. Yeah. Skateboard. <laughs> See the skateboard. Ollie's very excited to go skateboarding in the sand. Nothing better than a cup of tea. Mm. Mm, really good tea too. This is better than English tea. You want to say hello to them? Okay. Oh, okay. Hello. Next stop is into the canyon. And up here, you've got all our inscriptions on the rock. Just Oliver! Just Oliver! These are 2,000 years old drawings of ostriches as well. Hunters, camels, and a goat. You could only walk a little way into the canyon, but if you are a keen climber, you can climb all the way to the top. And on to our second last stop of the day, Lawrence of Arabia's home. 1917, this was Lawrence of Arabia's home. Oh. Yeah. You could easily climb up to the top, which was a really easy climb for all of us, and we saw lots of children up there as well. So Lawrence of Arabia's house, obviously, just a bit of a pile of stones, so it was a cool part of history. Actually, much nicer is the climb. And these beautiful hills. See, so now someone's done all these uh, stone stacking. So, how to keep a three year old busy for five minutes. Hello! on to the final part of our tour which Ollie has been most excited for sand dunning ready <laughs> Bedouin style uh, I'm coming one. ready no, not fast, not one. Fast. go fast <laughs> that was awesome watching my wife get pulled down Bedouin style this was definitely the funnest part of the day. Our guide was amazing and went up and down with Ollie repeatedly. Ollie had so much fun and had sand everywhere. Going on daddy's solo adventure snap money hat. I'm going over the rock bridge. And then we got a bazaar. Oh, you have a coffee. It's gonna work out how I get up. Climb up. Yeah. Looks fairly easy that way, but made this nice and easy. I love climbing. What I don't love <laughs> is heights. Not a fan at all. That. Okay. Mind talk, okay? Oh, not sure I'd want to take Ollie up here, to be honest with you.
We're finished on the rock bridge and we're now heading back to back to base camp. Uh, we've been out just over three hours and absolutely brilliant. Our driver was incredible. He was a, a real gentleman, really, really kind. Uh, scary? Yeah. Did he scare you on the sand dune? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ollie had a lot of fun and this guy just kept going up and up and up. It was amazing. Uh, three hours was enough for a three-year-old. Hey, if it was just two of you, a couple, come out as long as you can. It was a fantastic experience. Ah, oh, Martian, yes. This is the Martian, yeah? Uh, driver told us this is where they filmed Martian. It's pretty cool. After a quick stop for a coffee, it's time to head back to camp, pack our bags and drive back to Amman, ready for our flight the following day. Wow, Jordan, what a country. We've had an incredible time here and made some amazing friends. Thanks for watching. Click and subscribe to see which country we head to next. Subscribe and subscribe.